Hey there folks, and welcome back for another shaving video. And today we're gonna to use Cold River Soap Works, and this one is Juniper. And I have to say, the scent on this one is, is Juniper. Um, and I'll be honest, it doesn't float my boat. Now, this was accurately described by Cold River Soap Works. It's a pine sort of scent. Um, but Cold River Soap Works has such a history of phenomenal scents, I guess somehow I expected more. Um, it's just juniper. It's uh, scent strength is about a five. It's just average to me, um, as compared to Cold River Soap Works other offerings. I just don't care that much for it. Now, if you're looking for a pine scent, a piney type scent, juniper, you may love this, so you may disagree uh, with me. But it just doesn't float my boat. In fact, not only does it not float my boat, it doesn't get my boat off the trailer into the water. <laughs> Two floats. It's just, just not a great scent for me. I, I guess I expected more. Um, I shouldn't have because it was accurately uh, labeled. Again, this is Juniper. This is $19 for four ounces, which is pretty doggone expensive. And uh, Larry tells me they're changing all the ingredients. Everything's organic now. The They're not using scent oils. They're using uh, essential oils. And if that matters to you, you know, um, that's something to consider. It doesn't really make a lot of difference to me, I'll be honest with you. I want a great scent. So all the natural ingredients and the rest in the world doesn't matter to me if I don't like the scent. Um, I'm going to use this because this is an excellent quality soap. What I've always felt and still feel about Cold River Soap Works is the quality of the soap is just fantastic. It is definitely a top rung caliber soap. Uh, I did use a cosmetic scraper to scrape some out because I will definitely give that, that one uh, away. I don't want to uh, lather or load on the uh, the pot for that reason. So I'll load here from the bowl where I put that uh, little sample and we'll use it. See how it goes. Maybe the scent will grow on me throughout the shave. Uh, and by the way, I've been getting a lot of questions about Cold River Soap Works old scents. And I can't tell you anything. Um, Larry was really not committal. Um, in his answer, he's he's just trying to do his thing right now with the sense that he has. Uh, can't rule out anything, but also can't tell you anything. So I'm sorry, I can't <laughs> can't answer your question. I don't know if any of the old school sense will ever make a return or not. Can't say either way. So I did try to get the answer. I could not get one. <laughs> so um, never say never, though. I, I think uh, that's safe to say. Okay. Let's uh, wet the face, and then we're going to get started with the soap. And today we're going to continue our Rockwell versus Margress series, this time on setting number five. So let's wet the face and get going. Stay tuned. All right. So let's see how we do. And as I expected, the soap feels really nice lathering. I just don't care for the scent. And honestly, I bought three Cold River Soap Works soaps. I bought Citron. I bought uh, a lavender one. I can't think of the name of it. And I bought this one. And I like Citron. I, I do like it. It's a different type, but I prefer the old citrus. This one I don't care for. And the lavender is just okay. So I've got... It's unusual for me to buy three Cold River Soap Works soaps and not be wowed because they have such a history, at least in my view, of wowing me. When I take the top off, I'm like, oh, Larry has done it again. And on these three, I just didn't have that experience. It, you know, and it's... It's just, that's the way it goes. You know, sometimes you don't care for scents. Maybe I missed on three. Or maybe these scents aren't up to the Cold River stand. I don't know. Um, for me, speaking only for me, um, like when I pit, popped the top on Bergamot and Bay and Puro Fresco and Citrus, those were wow. Those were like, oh, man. These are just like, okay. But the soap is fantastic quality. So... You're always going to be able to hang your hat on quality with Cold River. From packaging to it is a classy experience. But I'll be honest, all the um, natural ingredients and all the rest, if I don't like the scent, it's worthless to me. It's absolutely worthless. And that's just the way I feel about it. I shave every single day. And a big part of the reason why I like this style of shaving is that scent experience, which really, for me, it means a lot. And if the scent isn't great, meh, then I just don't care that much for it. And, you know, you come here for honesty, and that's what you're going to get. All right, Rockwell 
on uh, number, plate number five. This is a Derby Premium Blade, which is a new blade to me, and let's see how it goes. And that feels nice once again. Smooth, even on the fifth plate. And the blade, this is on shave number three uh, in both razors. That feels very nice. Um, it's no surprise that this soap is great quality. You know, it's, it is one of the best soaps I have ever used from a quality perspective um, in terms of performance. And I will say, when I used the Citron, uh, I don't know, a week, two weeks ago, the post shave was phenomenal. Now, I don't know if that was due to it, a combination of the, it and the post shave product or like aftershave or, or just the soap, but it is phenomenal. So what you're getting with um, Cold River Soap Works, that feels nice. I, once again, the Rockwell side feeling more smooth to me. I feel a little more blade in my face, perhaps, with the uh, Margress on number five. Anyway, um, what you get with Cold River is pretty much guaranteed great quality. It's just the, 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 the recent scents, um, I'm just not wowed, and that's disappointing to me. Although, I will say, you may get it and go, wow. You may be wowed because, you know, scent, scent and your preference is entirely subjective. So there are probably people out there that, go, that, that are thinking, I like the new Cold River scents way better than the old. And they're right. If they do, they do. I just don't. All right. Let's uh, rinse the face, come back for pass two. All right. So let's feel how we did. Feels about the same. Feels, feels really, really close. In the first two settings, I thought I felt more... Um, like one performed a little better on the first two passes, but as the settings are going up, it seems like they're doing a, a great job on both sides. Although I'm detecting more, a more smooth experience from the Rockwell side. By the way, this is the Razor Rock brush here. Another great brush for not a lot of scratch. It looks great. Very soft in the tips. It is densely packed, so you get the feeling of a little backbone. Um, and one of the things we'll do with Cold River down the road, we'll take one of these new formula soaps with the new, you know, ingredients. And again, it's much more expensive for him to produce, um, according to Larry, because all these ingredients are like the tallow and the grass fed and the, all the organic, you know, no, no hormones. And what we'll do is we'll compare it to an old formula side by side, lather half the face with one have to face with the other and see if I can tell a difference in quality. Um, again, maybe there is, maybe there isn't, but the natural part to me, being very frank and honest, I don't really care. <laughs> it just doesn't. Uh, as long as there's not something harmful in the soap, artificial, I, I don't really care. You know, it's not something that I spend a lot of time worrying about. Now, I will say, Larry's scents have never... Um, smelled uh, really artificial or um, uh, you've probably gotten a soap before where you're just like you know I don't care for this it just smells way too artificial Larry's soaps have has never suffered from that problem so even if he did use scenting oils um, which he's now not using he says um, anyway we'll check it out and see how the the new compares to the old on a side-by-side -side comparison and then I'll check throughout the day and let you know uh, how the post um, went. One thing that Cold River is famous for is a great post shave. Um, and it's always provided that. So people who care about that, Cold River is a really good brand to, to check out on that basis. Okay. Mergress, setting five. Still doing a great job. I, it's six and one and a half a dozen and another here for, for me, folks. Um, feeling nice. But again, I believe, just by what I feel, I feel um, that the uh, Rockwell is a little more smooth. At least for me. Okay. 
There is pass two. Let's rinse the face and come back and see how we did. Stay tuned. All right, so let's see how we did. Uh, it feels about the same once again. So I'm ending up at pretty much the same place. I uh, saw a, a live video on Facebook last night from uh, Busta, and he mentioned something that um, is worthy of repeating. When bringing you this type of content, like today I'm talking about Cold River, and uh, I know Larry a little bit. I don't know him personally. I don't know anything about him personally, to tell you the truth. Other than the fact he likes dogs, because he has uh, previously sent uh, some like treats with my package, which is really nice. He is a nice guy, as far as I know. Um, but anyway, one of the things Busta mentioned yesterday is it's difficult to put this content out there sometimes when you don't really care for something, when you like the individual who's making it, because uh, I like Larry, but I also have an obligation to my viewers to give them my, you know, thoughts, mm. candid thoughts with uh, without sugarcoating or, and uh, the quality of this soap, 100% home run. Um, again, even though the ingredients are more expensive, ideally I'd like to see five ounces at $19 to bring it below that $4 an ounce. Um, price because it's four seventy five an ounce. And this one I'm just not thrilled about the scent on. Um, you know, I have an obligation to the viewers to call it like I see it. And uh, the three soaps that I've gotten from Cold River Soapworks recently are just for me, just you know I don't have the same enthusiasm about these particular scents that I have in the past because they really I'm just not wild and I expect wowing from Cold River. Um, they've, you know, I think he's built his brand on wow sense, not just, eh, it's lavender, or, eh, it's juniper, you know. And so, it's tough to to uh, talk about these things, but I don't have any choice because, you know, I'm, I do this for the folks who are really trying to take in information um, who are you know, maybe they don't have a ton of scratch to spin, and buying one soap might be all they buy that payday or even that month. And um, some of them have the same preference that I do in sense. So they have found through experience that a lot of times they like things I like and they don't like things that I don't care for. So I certainly don't want them to, if they're on a fixed budget, buy more expensive soap that they say, well, you know, he said that thing was great and I don't care for the scent. Uh, if I don't think the scent is great, I'm not going to say the scent is great, you know, but if I like it, I'm going to say I really like it. Now that said, I can guarantee you there are people who are really going to love this scent. It's going to fit their uh, preferences perfectly and the quality, no debate, no debate. It's great. It's not good. It's great. But um, just not wild on the scent. So we'll give this one away, and I'll announce it at some point going forward. As I like to say, my loss is your gain, people. And somebody who really likes a pine type scent will absolutely love this soap, and that's great. Okay, let's finish our stash area here. Okay, let's rinse our face. We'll come back and do our posts and compare the sides. Stay tuned. All right, and in comes the magic made by, which is Hayer, Thayer's, <laughs> Hayer's, Thayer's with Hazel. Great stuff. Uh, one thing I want to mention is, I got a question yesterday about using alcohol and then aftershave, and if they serve the same purpose. Yes and no. Uh, a lot of times, witch hazels like this will have things that the aftershave does not, so they complement. Uh, one another. Some aftershaves do have witch hazel in them. Uh, I use it whether they do or don't, and there's some overlap there. So I just love Thayer's witch hazel with aloe. I think it's very, very good stuff. Okay, let's uh, feel the face before we go too much further. And we come out once again, even. Again, I think the Rockwell 6S provided a more smooth experience on plate number five. The uh, Mergress, I think I felt a little more blade, but they end up being the same, so six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. 
Uh, as to the soap, Cold River Soap Works, what are you getting here? You're getting a classy experience. You're getting a top caliber quality. Uh, according to Larry, you're getting the best of ingredients that you can possibly get or close to it, if not. Um, but not a great scent on this one for me. Um, if you like juniper, however, you may love this. Uh, this one for me just isn't up to that wow standard of Cold River Soap Works, at least on a scent basis, but I can guarantee you later in the day, I'm feeling my face, it's gonna feel nice and soft, so there's gonna be some benefit for using this soap, even though I didn't care that much for the scent today. Um, and one other thing I'll say is, that soap was accurately described, so it was me just choosing a soap I don't like. You know, it's, um, I've had some other juniper stuff that I like, I just didn't care that much for this one. And it is what it is. So today we're gonna to use um, an aftershave that I love. I love the scent of this one. Now, this one is the Shaving Shop Emerald Moss, which is made by um, Soap Smooth. And the scent on this is fantastic. It smells sort of like Irish mousse, um, which I like. And so I'm, I'm bringing some scent to the party that I really love. I want to love my scents in the morning, not just like it. Um, because that juniper, you know, I could like it, but I don't love it. Um, it. It's just okay. But boy, when I bring this guy out, now I'm kicking it up. Now I'm happy. And that's what scents mean to me. I want the scent to bring something that really um, inspires me and, and really gets me going. And this is doing that. That's what I'm after. When I'm uh, using a soap, I want to be wowed. I want to be really thrilled about the scent. And when I'm not, it's disappointing, especially when I pay $4.75 an ounce. I don't dig it. But like I said, there is the advantage of having that excellent post shave. So later today, I'm going to be enjoying it going, yeah, that cold river is great stuff because it is no doubt about that. Okay. Once again, Murgress uh, on number five versus Rockwell. A little smoother, but the shave came out the same. Tomorrow is our last day. We're going to go up to the six plate on the Rockwell, and we'll go five plus one on this guy, and we'll see how it goes. I want to thank everyone once again for joining me. I remind you, I did use the Razor Rock once again. I almost forgot about that. The uh, This is a wonderful brush here. I really like it. I can't remember the cost, but it's definitely under 20 bucks. Excellent value here, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time, let's make America shave again.